guys faced both of these teams. Mark, I'll start with an easy question. Which team was tougher? Well, for us, um, it, it was different kind of style because, you know, the Broncos, we had to hide stuff, and we couldn't let Peyton know what we were doing. And, he, you know, he still kind of picked us <laughs> he apart a little bit. Which is, he figured it out. Yeah, which is a problem. But <laughs> then you have to also plan for Russell Wilson and the way he runs the ball on top of Marshawn Lynch. And they're good, too. And Golden Tate, the last half of this season, has stepped up as a wide receiver. And, you know, we really prepared for him as a, as a kickoff returner. Mm. Uh, and then he comes into the game, and he made some great catches, and he's strong. And so both offenses you know, that we face – uh, are dangerous, and I, th I don't think the Seahawks get enough credit for what they can do on offense. Brian, who was tougher in your opinion? I'm going to have to say the Broncos. Um, you know, going into that game, you know, you always, the topic of the week is Peyton Manning and how he's the coach on the field. He's calling his own plays. He's out there saying a lot of stuff that can mean nothing or can mean something. And right, you, Omaha, right? That's yeah, Omaha. Big thing. Omaha's gotten a lot That's of publicity. Right, what know, did you guys hear out there? A lot of Omaha or other anything. stuff? Okay. And I, I think that was my plan going into the game. You, you don't want to get caught up in all that all that hype and that mumbo-jumbo. You need to focus on getting your defense a call. And as a safety, I'm responsible for making sure that my other safety gets a call and making sure that our corners are getting it, uh, the right call so they're in the right coverage. Uh, because if we're not in the coverage, in, in our right coverage, then he's going to exploit that. Um, so, you know, you just need to take care of your business first. And if you happen to pick up on some key words, maybe later on in the game, third quarter, fourth quarter, when it's crunch time, uh, then, you you know, you communicate that with your coach. But you just got to make sure that you're taking care of what you can take care of first. It sounds like these are two teams that are difficult to anticipate sort of what they're going to throw at you. Let's stay with the Broncos for a second. If you were defense and you had to take away one of their weapons, where's your focus? What's your number one priority? Uh, well, you know, I, I think that the place that can kill you is tight end position. Um, and, you know, I know Ryan and I both have to cover tight ends, and that's when you have a dominant tight end like the Broncos do, that creates a mismatch for safeties or for linebackers, and that opens up the rest of the guys. So um, I believe, obviously, it flows through Peyton, but if, we, if you can take away the tight ends and stop the draw, if there's some way where you can get eight in the box um, and play the pass game at the same time, then you, then you start to have a chance. Mm -hmm. I think, man, their their biggest matchup is going to be Demarius Thomas versus Richard Sherman. I mean, that's going to be the marquee matchup. And Demarius Thomas is an outstanding receiver. Over the past uh, two, two and a half years, he's really come on. And he's he has the ability to catch the ball on a short screen, five yards, and take it 80. Uh, so they really need to bottle him up. And, uh, you know, I think Seattle's corners, they'll do a great job. Uh, they're very talented. And Mark had mentioned their safeties. Cam Chancellor, I think he he's a big guy. <laughs> Um, hits hard. Know, he, and he hits yeah. very hard. Uh, he's 6'3", 230, and I seen him on the field, and I'm like, man, that's a big safety. And I consider myself <laughs> to be a big safety, and I'm saying that about him. And, he, you know, he's got me by a few inches and uh, about 15 pounds, but uh, it's going to be a great matchup. It's going to be really going to be something to watch. Hey there, SI fans. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily live show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode. It's just 30 minutes long in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure to subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. May not be the swimsuit channel, but just as exciting. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern time only on SI.com. There may be a swimsuit model there. We'll see you.